how to modify the equation to make it uh, a predator prey interaction. First of all, let's grab this lot here by rubber banding, holding the left mouse down and dragging around it. They all go grey. If I right click and choose group, then I can create a group out of that and drag it uh, over here. Let's say over here a bit with this window back. And if I now right click and choose flip the contents of the group, and then ungroup, I've turned the whole lot around as you can see. So I can do the sharks on this side and the fish on the other. Just just showing some, some features of the program. Now let's make a bit of space here to take the predator prey side of the program. What I need to do is change it from being just population growth and population decay to make it the sum of population growth and decay and interaction between the two species. So highlight the line. Uh, if I put the right mouse click here, I can hit the delete wire like so. And over here, just to illustrate a different way of doing it, if I simply highlight when the blue dot turns up and press the delete key, then I delete that operator. And I want to put a minus block in both cases. So I'll put a minus key over here and a minus key over here, which I'll need to flip around. So right click and choose flip. And now that, uh, if I wire that up through the plus key there, leaving the minus untouched, it'll still be the same equation. So I'll just do that and simulate and show that it's the same basic behaviour. Slow it down a bit for the next time around. Now I need to weigh the population interaction factors. Well, for fish, there's a negative interaction for bumping into sharks. So I now can have a fish F underscore curly brackets DR death rate. Press the enter key. Notice that's pointing the opposite direction now because I flipped. Just flip it again, it's pointing the right way around. Edit that, give it a value, say, of 0.1. So which um, shark that exists reduces the rate of growth rate of fish by 10%. Now then multiply that by the number of fish. So I take a copy of the fish and I can take a copy of sharks from over here, just the variable itself, and put a multiply block here. And I can multiply three things together through one block because multiplication is an operation where you can you know, chain a whole lot of elements together. And we've exploited that to make this easier to design a more complicated model. So there's the fish interaction covered. And now for sharks, I need to get rid of this. Uh, well, I can use the minus block inside there, but it probably makes more sense to delete that wire and wire this down here. And then I can if I highlight over the minus key of a press the delete key, I get rid of that. And now that's the same operation effectively. So I now need to add in the fact that they have a positive interaction from eating eating fish, so I have S underscore say GR for growth rate and flip that around give it a value of say 0 0.01 so each uh, fish they increase the growth rate of fish by by sharks by 1% and I now multiply that by the number of sharks so I copy that variable ah, I made it into a slider by accident, I'll just turn that off copy that Copy the number of fish. And now I've got a multiply block over here. Multiply those three together. Sometimes it's hard to get that servo properly. And then drag that down here. And now I should have a basic pressure prey model. And I do with extreme initial values, hence those extreme peaks there. Um, I'll need to change that to make it more realistic and I'll do that in a moment.